Hey everybody, it's Esther here at FlexMoto.com. So today we're going to be showing you a move that's called the Mountain Climber. Another name that other people call it is the Floor Sprint. Um, it's a great move. It's another move that works multiple parts of the body. It works the upper body, works the lower body, works your core, and also works your abs, and it gets your cardiovascular system moving. So first we're going to start off with the basic Mountain Climber. Then I'm going to show you um, ways to advance it to add some instability and how to add power to it and use it as a partner drill. And then I'll also show a modified beginner version of it. So let's get down on the floor. And what you want to do is be in push-up position. Now make sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders, your core is engaged, all your muscles are engaged. You're going to drive those knees towards the chest using your abs to drive those knees in. So in. Okay? Some important points when people are doing this that's wrong is that they stick their butt in the air. That's wrong. You want to keep the body aligned. Now, another way that people do this is they have their toes tap in. Again, if you're going to do it this way, keep that butt down. Don't let the butt go up. And again, watch your hand position. I see a lot of people, they bring their arms out here and they're trying to do the mountain climber like this. Okay? Now, another way you can do it is having the, um, the feet go out to the side. So a wide mountain climber, okay? Now, if you want to add some instability to it, I'm going to get the Bozu ball. When you add instability to the move, it makes your core work harder. The core is engaged more. Now again, same hand position. You don't want those hands forward. I see people trying to do it like this. You want those hands underneath the shoulders, driving those knees towards the chest, using the abs, okay? Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now you see my hands are moving side to side because I'm trying to keep the movement in the center. My core is engaged, okay? Same thing here. If you're using a medicine ball. Now this is a little harder than the Bozu ball because now your hands are actually closer in. So you're going to see that a little bit harder to balance. So first balance yourself, okay? Now you're going to start driving those knees in towards the chest using your abs. In. Okay? All right. Now if you are a beginner, also for people that have a bad lower back, and now with that in mind, got to make sure that you work out your lower back. It's an important part of your core. But if you are a beginner and someone who has a weak lower back, you want to start off your mountain climber against the wall. You don't want to bring it to the floor yet. So here, hands are against the wall. Again, using those abs to drive those knees up towards the chest. Bring it. Okay? Again, don't stick the butt up. Keep the butt in, knees driving in. Okay? If you want to add a little bit of instability, if you got a bag, or if you're taking a cardio kickboxing class, warming up before the class, same thing. See, now the surface is not steady, so it makes the abs engage more. So here we go, same thing. Okay? Now, if you're still a beginner, but this is too easy, but you still can't take it down to the floor, you can go down to a step or use a chair, bring the level midway, and do the same thing using those abs to drive those knees towards the chest. And then, remember, when you're doing this, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, because you are working your cardiovascular system so you can feel your heart pumping a little faster. Want to get that oxygen flowing all to the muscles. Okay. So um, we're going to show you a clip of how you can do the mountain climber as a partner drill. Um, we put this in our December challenge in the sports conditioning workout to add a little more resistance, add a little more power. And then I'm going to show you a clip of where you can use um, the mountain climber to really engage in the abs. So let's go. All right. So partner drill. One person to be down. 
We have um, Joanna who joined us in the back. She's going to show you just how to do this. If you're a beginner, you're going to go into a mountain climber without a partner. All right? You'll face this way. So uh, one person's down. Okay, you want to drive those knees into the chest. She's going to be pushing. See where she's pushing? On my shoulder. Do not put your hands on their back or else they're going to fall. Okay? Resistance against the shoulder. Keep those abs tight. You're going to drive the knees towards the chest. Just adding a little resistance. You're trying to push your forward. I wanted to show you some other ways to advance um, the mountain climber or other ways to use the mountain climber to enhance your workouts. Now, for um, our advanced people out there, you can also use the mountain clim uh, climbers with Tabata training. I believe it's in the Tabata circuit number two, right? <laughs> Either number one, number two. Either way, it's the you know four minutes, 20 second high interval, 10 second rest, eight cycles, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, if you haven't used the mountain climber, start off with the modified or the basic version. If you're someone who's been using the mountain climber a lot in your workouts, try the advanced versions. Hope you enjoy this segment at FlexMode.com and we'll see you soon. Later.